This is NXL Further Pure 1 Trigonometry, the T-Formula, and in particular the derivation of the T-Formula. Now there are some things from Year 13 A-Level Maths that you'll need to know before being able to follow this uh, video. In particular, you need to know about uh, radians. You need to know about double angle formulae and how they're derived. And you also need to worry about reciprocal trig functions as well. And if you're not sure of any of those, then it's worth going back and making sure you understand those before continuing. The T formula um, are a set of formula that can be used to express trigonometric ratios in terms of T, where T is equal to tan of half the angle. In addition, uh, to be able to derive these, we rely on the double angle formulae. So, for instance, below uh, is sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta is identical to 2 sine theta cos theta. Now, if we half both those angles, we end up with sine theta is identical to 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2. And then you can end up seeing the same for cos 2 theta and tan 2 theta. We're just halving those angles in the double angle formulae to make them effectively half angle formulae. For acute angles, I can use a triangle to uh, work out the T formula for sine theta, cos theta, and so on. Uh, what I've got here is an acute angle triangle with theta over 2 as my acute angle. Uh, and I know that tan theta over 2 should be equal to T. So to make sure that tan theta over 2 is T, I set the opposite to T and the adjacent to 1. And then by Pythagoras' theorem, I can see that the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 squared plus t squared. So expressing sine theta using the double angle formula, but halving all the angles as we saw earlier, we can end up working our way through this. So we keep the 2 and sine theta over 2 is going to be opposite t over hypotenuse, the square root of 1 plus t squared. And then cos theta over 2 is going to be adjacent 1 uh, over the square root of 1 plus t squared. Now if I collect those terms together, you can see the numerator is going to be 2t. And the denominator is the square of the square root of 1 plus t squared. And there we have sine theta using this uh, acute angle triangle derived in terms of t. And here you can see the derivation for sine theta written out neatly, and also cos theta and tan theta. You can follow those through in uh, your own time if you freeze the video. So here we have a little right angle triangle with theta over 2 as the acute angle to allow us to work out the values in terms of t for sine theta cos theta and tan theta. But we can now set up a second right angle triangle and this time we end up using theta as our acute angle. And if I look at the equation for sine theta, I can see that the opposite should be 2t. I can also see that the hypotenuse should be 1 plus t squared. And looking at cos theta, I can see that the adjacent should be 1 minus t squared. And if you apply that Pythagoras' theorem to that triangle, you see that works and it is another right angle triangle. These two triangles are both great aid memoirs to allow you to remember the values for sine theta, cos theta and tan theta in terms of t, where t is tan theta over 2. You should learn these uh, and they can be quoted unless the question specifically asks for them to be derived. So far we've used the triangles to give us acute angles uh, as far as the T formula are concerned. But if you want to do it for any angle, we're going to need to use an algebraic approach. So here's sine 2 theta written as 2 sine theta cos theta, and we'll change that down into just sine theta uh, equal to 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2. And that will give us a starting point for our algebraic derivation. Now, I'm needing to find everything in terms of tan theta over 2. 
if I divide sine theta over 2 by cos theta over 2, I'll get a tan theta over 2. So I'll start there. So I'll keep the 2. And then if I have sine theta over 2 divided by cos theta over 2, I've divided by cos theta over 2. I need to multiply by cos theta over 2. And I mustn't forget the cos theta over 2 that I had in the original equation. And we can see we've got tan theta over 2 here. So it's 2 tan theta over 2. And cos theta over 2 times cos theta over 2, I can write that as cos squared theta over 2. So I can keep my 2 tan theta over 2, but cos squared theta over 2, I can write as 1 over sec squared theta over 2 using reciprocal trig functions. So I can rewrite that as 2 tan theta over 2 over sec squared theta over 2. Then I can use a sec squared identity. So I'll keep the numerator the same. 2 tan theta over 2, but sec squared is 1 plus tan squared, and my angle is theta over 2. Now you can see that I've got all my trig functions as tan theta over 2, so I can just replace the tan theta over 2 with t. So that becomes 2t over 1 plus t squared. So here is that derivation typed up rather than just uh, going by hand. You can pause the video and, and follow that through in more detail if you need to. Again, we've got the same neatly written up derivation for cos 2 theta. And if you look at the simple double angle formula for tan uh, 2 theta, you can see that it just comes out straight away. To recap, t is tan theta over 2. To help you derive the T formulae, there are useful triangles as an aid memoir. You need to remember all three formulae, and you can also use the theta in your acute angle triangle to help you remember those as well. You also need to learn how to derive cos theta and sine theta. Tan theta just falls out. That was edXL further pure one trigonometry the t formula derivation of the t formula next up using the t formula